we're at the Spring Mountain Visitor Gateway. There's the uh, Visitor Gateway there. To get to the Acastas Trail, you want to continue south after walking up to the Visitor Center. The visitor center is right up there. Coming down this trail, we're going to be making a left and get on this uh, pack rat route, the escarpment trail. At the next split, pack rat route and escarpment trail continue this way. We're going to make a right though. Here's a split here, although I see uh, the Acastus Trail sign right up here. The yeah, Acastus Trail. There's also another trail going this way, too. We'll just follow this. And pretty quick, there's another split. So we're just going to follow this off to the right. Mitchell and I were out here two days ago. We were on the wrong trail. We were on this Huvip trail. And we made it up to this little shack here, and that's where we uh, basically turned around. Found a benchmark here. That's a very easy trail. It's flat. Shade. There's even benches along the way. There's a wash. There's a number of these placards along the trail. Yeah, there's a turnoff for 158. That will take you to, I think they call it the, the Desert Overlook. We made it to the Kyle Canyon Trailhead. So you can park here and head down the trail and back or start at the Visitor Center Gateway like we did. You know, there's restrooms here at this trailhead and of course, restrooms at the Visitor Center. We are ready to head back, back on the Acastas Trail. Well, an easy way to get on the wash would be right here. You can get on the wash, take it to where you see that hut, and then get on the trail that's by the hut and take that trail back to the Visitor Center. There's that hut across the wash. It's actually kind of easy to get to from here. So Mitchko and I are going to cross the wash. We were there two days ago. You can see the, like a little road there. Just have to watch your step down here. You can actually just take this wash back to the visitor gateway too. Yeah, going up this way, this leads to Kyle Canyon Road. So we'll just follow it back this way. From this little hut, you might have to uh, do a little bit of searching for the trail, but it's right here. Just kind of follow that through and it goes along down there. Yeah, you can see the trail here. Yeah, this trail goes right up to that slope and goes through the trees. At this point, there's a split. One way to go is up here, up the trail, up that slope. It goes about halfway up and continues. Yes, or, or you can stay on the, the pavement and they, they join up down here further. 
Yeah, this trail has some trees you'll have to go through. You might want to wear some eye protection. Here's where those trails join or split going the other way. Okay, we passed these apartments or whatever they are. And at this point, the trail splits. We're gonna go to the right and go down. And then the visitor center is just right over there. Alternately, you can go this way and go up and get to the visitor center that way as well. Okay, we're back at this split. Earlier we went that way to get on the Acastus Trail. So we're just gonna follow the road or this trail up to the visitor center. Yeah, looking back here, just kind of summarize. To get to the Acastus Trail, you wanna go over here on this brown or tan covered thing, cross, cross the wash. And then the Acastus Trail is the trail that goes along the bottom of that, um, of that slope there. I traded in my old 2007 blue CRV for this 2021 white CRV. I'm really liking it.